What's going on, Mushroom Gang? It's your boy, Worthy Prince, coming at you with another Legend of Mushroom video. And today, guys, we've got a couple of new events in the game that I wanted to cover. Um, also, my account's going pretty well. I'm still, y yes, I'm still sticking with the mage. <laughs> I love pain. Um, it's been tough, actually. I mean, I'm up to Chaos 5. I did get to Lamp 25, which was nice. And I am trying to optimize my gear to get skill crit and stun of course um but yeah it, it's just painful being a mage hurts so much especially when i go into pvp and i see someone that hasn't got nowhere near the gear i've got they're like three million power lower than me and they're still able to beat me it's it's kind of crazy um but you know what guys stay tuned i keep saying it I'm on copium i know but eventually the mage is going to turn around and it's going to kick some butt but for now, we're just, we just, we just struggling back here on Chaos 5. It's kind of rough, but it is what it is. I'm going to stick with it. Anyway, let's get into these events. So you can see this new event that's come up is this one here. Not this one. This is the old one. This one here, the Foodie Fun. Okay, so now look, there is instructions in the bottom left. So if you do want to read something, you can go down here and check all this out. And this tells you kind of like everything you have to do to do the, do the game, but I'm going to play it and show you how it works. Um, also, there is some rewards in this one. And what I like about this is you can actually collect all the rewards every single day on the left hand side, the pastry chef, completely free to play, which is really nice. Now, of course, if you are buying packs inside Legend of Mushroom, you can become a dessert master <laughs> for 10 bucks and you'll get yourself some gold keys, more gems, hammers, the empowerment gears. And a whole bunch of goodies here which is kind of nice so this is pretty good what i normally do is i normally go through all of it and get right down to the bottom and then i normally get it <laughs> and then i unlock everything in one go because that feels kind of satisfying to me but if you are unlocking the dessert master make sure you do it with aptoid i do have links in the description for your app wallet and also aptoid game store as well also a promotional code down below worthy mush all capital letters one word and you're going to want to go into your app wallet, hit rewards and then promotion codes and put that promotion code in there as well. So when you buy stuff inside Legend of Mushroom, not only will you get the Aptoid cash back, but you'll also get an extra 5% from my code too, which will save you potentially, depending on how much you've used Aptoid, up to 25% back in cash back, which is pretty good stuff. So again, guys, all those links are down in the description below. If you're buying packs in Legend of Mushroom, make sure you make your money go as far as possible with aptoid okay so yeah you can see desert master really good rewards here on the right hand side it's a kind of cute event so let's jump in and show you how this works so we're going to dive in now you can't see fully what's down there you only see the first two rows but what we're going to do is we're going to put two spoons in and we're going to just drop it and see what happens here we go boom okay so we got 120 hearts we didn't unlock the chest no problem but we're getting these hearts here so we can just spam more of these and then we can double them up. Look, you see that? You move the spoon on top of the spoon and then drop them again. Look, there you go. Bang. And then we hit the chest. Nice. And then we get a little pot. We can open that. We get another spoon and we've got 260. So we're going to spam more of these. There you go. And we're going to move away from those purple ones because those purple ones are kind of gnarly. And let's drop it there. See what happens. Oh, there's a purple one. Okay, we're good. Oh, oh, nearly. Okay, fine. We've got another 400. We can spam more. There we go. And then we can go ahead and move the spoons on top of each other to make more. And you can put the twos on top of the twos to make yellow ones. And then we can go again. And then these yellow ones are going to be really strong. So they're going to push through, I think, just about. We got the, we got the chest open. Perfect. Okay, great. So we get another one of these. We've got another two. That gives us a three. And then again, we drop a whole bunch more. And then we can match these all up. Get another three. And then we can maybe put, how about we put three on top of three? Because that will be a good, that'll be a good drop, I think. And then we can put a two there. Let's drop that and see how we do here. Oh, there's yellow ones down there now. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Is it enough? Is it enough? No, it wasn't. Okay, we've got 820 hearts though. So we can drop a whole bunch more of these. And then we can move these across. There we go. And drop a whole bunch more. There we go. Another three and i've got them out of hearts so again you can just drop it again you can do this as many times as you want it don't matter how many times you do it you can see we're getting so many hearts now we've got 1300 
Okay, great. So what I'm going to do, the threes isn't enough to go through. So we're going to have to combine these up. So there we go. We're going to make fours now. Look at that. All right, so we can drop more of these. And again, we're going to make some twos. Put that three over there. Again, we're going to make some more twos. Drop, drop, drop. And we're going to make some threes. So now, I'm just going to do that. So I've got threes and now I've got fours there. So let's see if the fours are strong enough to push through for us. And they are. We get the free chest. Nice. Cool. So we can go to the next level. Okay. So I'm going to go straight ahead and start upgrading to five. So four on four makes a five. And we put the three on three to make a four. There's another five for us. And another three. We're going to do fives and fours as much as we can here. Let's have a look. You do run out of space. There's only so much you can upgrade each time gonna get these threes there we go so we're gonna go four four we need to unlock two chests so as long as these two rows here are pretty strong in fact i think i might move this one over here and then we're just gonna start upgrading as much as we can on the other ones there we go so we've got threes we're gonna run out of lamps in a minute oh not lamps the uh yellow hearts okay there we go let me get another three over here and we're out of Yellow, yellow hearts but that's okay because we've got a whole bunch we've got fives and fours let's see how that goes oh there's two reds down the bottom but that's okay we did it nice we got the two chests excellent to the next round we get a couple more of those all right sweet so now we're going to go ahead and make two fives on the two rows we're going to try and get we need to unlock one chest here so let's go ahead and combine the threes again we're going to make some more and we'll combine that. We'll combine the three. So we've got two fours. Put that there. We've got a five and a five. Okay, so two rows of five. And then we'll start combining some more to get ready for the next upgrades. There we go. So we've got threes. Uh, we'll combine the threes to make a four. There we go. Combine the threes to make a four. Nice. And we've got twos. Twos. Combine that. And we're out of hearts. Okay, so let's just put those two there. Right, we're hoping the two fives are going to break through. So let's drop those. They should do. They're pretty, you know, two fives on the left. Oh, it's the final boss. Okay, cool. So now we're hitting this thing. Oh, we're not quite doing enough damage, though. Ooh, he might survive. He might survive. He survived. Okay, so we didn't get the target. That's fine. So what happens is if you combine the fives, you make a fork. Now, I never actually combined two forks when I did it, but I kind of want to see if you can do it. Oh, you can. You can make a blue fork. Interesting. I wonder how far you can actually keep going to upgrade these things. I don't know. Uh, let's just do this, though. We'll do a fork. We'll do a, blue, a pink five. We'll get some more spoons. Combine these up. Okay, we're going to get some freeze. There we go. We'll combine these up as well. Okay, we're going to get two fours. Make another five. All right. I think that fork is pretty strong. I think that's going to be enough to push all the way through on this first level we got here. Uh, so we got it out. Grab the spoons again. Mix them up. There we go. Put the three together. Put the one up here. Right, I'm out of spoons. So if it doesn't work, we can make some more in a minute. But I think this, I think this, uh, this fork is going to annihilate. Let's take a look. Here we go. Drop. Oh my god, that fork just went straight through all of them. But is it enough damage? We're about to find out. Yeah, that fork's going to work. It might be enough. The fork is going to do it all on its own. Ladies and gentlemen, the fork. <laughs> okay, we did it. It's just pretty straightforward stuff. You just keep going and going and going and going until you get through. So there's no way you can really lose this, to be honest with you. It's quite a fun little event. Um, it's like I said, it's not difficult. It's going to get more and more maybe challenging as the, as the day's gone on. But if anything, it's just going to take a bit more time because you get multiple attempts to do it. This would be a lot more difficult if you had a limited amount of times you could actually drop the, the actual, you know, items then you'd have to really start thinking about what you're doing. But generally speaking, it's just going to take time to combine everything up. But it's not a bad little event. And again, the rewards are pretty good as well. So enjoy the rewards and have some fun playing around with that. And then there is a second event that's come up as well. There is another spinner event that's come up. And there is a new mount on here as well, which looks kind of pog, I have to be honest. And you're going to be able to get coins if you're free to play with the, these like little tokens down here by doing the tasks i've done pretty much all of them already there's a few i still have to do um and then you can try and get lucky on here and see if you can get it 
Uh, this is actually a pretty cool mount. It's the Blue Queen, and it says distribute 10% of damage dealt to up to five surrounding enemies when dealing damage. So the minions, when you're trying to get to the boss, if you're struggling with that, if they're killing you, this might be an extra attack boost that would help you to wipe out more minions. But it's definitely a cool looking uh, mount. I don't know how good that would be in PvP because it's more of an AoE thing. But it's still a cool mount and it still dishes out more damage and more crit damage, which is good. If you're one of the bowmen or the archers or the warriors that enjoy a nice amount of crit damage, then this could be a big boost for you. So very, very nice indeed. We can go to the preview and you can see what it looks like. It's pretty cool. I just wish I could get myself a cool looking mount, but unfortunately my RNG is not very good at the moment. <laughs> I've not been able to drop it, unfortunately, yet. Uh, so it is what it is. Anyway, guys, that's the new event. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to share with your friends. Don't forget to smash the like button, guys. Remember, if you're buying packs inside Legend of Mushroom, do it with Aptoid, and all those links are down below for you in the description. I'll catch you in the next video or live stream, but until then, you know how this next bit's gonna go. Don't hallucinate, stay safe, everyone, and of course, Peace out.